In this episode of Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, work starts on my bimini, and my propeller gets a nice shine. Then I get slightly smutty. Rather nice lady underneath it, sanding away. Eat a curry, have some fish and chips. Then I see the light. Practice music with my friend in the rain. There's the old winch down there at the bottom of the chain locker. <laughs> this is this is the new one. <laughs> yes, look at that. It's got to be slightly off center, I think. Um, I've just plumped it there just to see what it looks like, but it's going to be slightly off center to the boat to get the angle for the chain to go from there to the roller. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to alter the hatch that normally goes here, opens this way. Um, that's the electric motor that's in the winch. Basically, it's, it's almost the same as the old one, except it has an electric engine uh, stuck on the back of it. So uh, that part is the same, pretty much. Uh, but that's different, and that's, that overhangs. So I've got to cut up the um, anchor locker hatch. While I was working out how to do that, it was back inside. Still got to wire up these uh, lights up here, the new ones that are going in here. Meantime, I've also got another set up here. Uh, but these are uh, uh, normal lights, uh, as in the old kind of old-fashioned bulbs. So replacing with this, uh, these are, of course, LEDs. Already replaced this one in the galley. Yeah. Another rainy day. This is one of the main reasons I want to get back in the water. Look at this dirt. It is just everywhere and you can't stop it. Every time I climb up on the boat, I bring another scoop full of dirt with me. Oh, I was just going to go down and do some filming and it started to rain again. My fan is getting wet. Because the boat's facing up the river, the wind blows up the river and with it the rain and that comes in the boat all right it's miserable out there i thought i'll come into the boat and i'll make some breakfast but to, to do that i have to turn the gas on which at the moment uh, the gas switch is outside uh, so that means i've got to go out again uh, and also my i didn't do my washing up yesterday which is in a bucket which is also outside the boat Maybe I should just stay here. No, oh, and then it starts again. There's another boat out of the water behind me this morning. Another steel boat. Yes, these people are from France. They got two kayaks and a dinghy on board. Wow. And it's really busy in the yard, and it's a busy day for me. Yesterday had the winch delivered, uh, got my mainsail sorted out. I spent the rest of the day trying to work out the wiring for the winch, goodness me. Um, and then uh, my friend Ronnie, uh, who has his own business, uh, canvas work. Uh, so he's here today, and uh, he's measuring up for the new spray hood. Got my mate Ronnie on board today. He's, uh, he's made some time for the old sea dog, and uh, what he's gonna do, is make me a new spray dodger. So he's busy uh, uh, measuring up, so I'm letting him concentrate at the moment. So he's come down this morning, and uh, that's what we're doing. There's the old one. I'm gonna be able to get this without a seam. You can do it without like a seam? I like it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll be able to get this in one panel now. Okay. Marking that, yeah. Over here. If you're a regular viewer to the channel, you'll know uh, that my old Bimini got well trashed uh, on my voyage to New Zealand. So time to replace it. Yeah, Scary man, bit. Oh, well, that's looking great. I'm just gonna keep yeah. the bucket clean though. That's gonna get dirty really easy, isn't it? I'm putting leather over here, eh? Mm, yeah, oh yeah, Put a okay. from here. Oh, brilliant. And then this one has a little lip on it. Yeah.
And then it was time for a change. All work and no play makes for a dull sea dog. It was time for a bit of recreation and fun. So we went out in the car. Timo and uh, Johanna from the boat Iris took me to this place. It even had a pool table. But we went there to play pool or look at the view. We were there for one reason and one reason only. To eat fish and chips. Yes. And then it started raining again. Because of that, and also I'd been in the marina for quite some time, I wanted something to do. Myself and some friends who were musicians got together and we started our own band. Planned to play a few gigs. This is Pele. He's on rhythm guitar. Unfortunately, can't play the music that we did on this channel because of copyright. I'll put a link to it somewhere else. After playing some music in the rain with some friends, it's a beautiful homemade curry and a cold beer. That's the end of the day, folks. It was raining hard last night, but today the sun is shining, time for work. Just clearing a space to work in what has become my garden. I love this little area. Uh, I've only got uh, two and a bit days left. Gonna go in the water in two days because there's a storm coming. Not sure of how much wind, but they are saying maybe up to 40 to 50 knots, which is an awful lot when your boat's standing on a big cradle out of the water like this. Uh, so a lot to do, uh, so I better get cracking. Only two days left to do it in. Was working on the bottom of the keel yesterday. Uh, there's all this mess to move and sort out uh, before I can go back in the water. Uh, there's the old sail looking very sorry for herself. I'm sorry, old girl, but this is as far as you go with me. Yeah, looking forward to putting the new sail on. Can only do that in the water. I've also got to get the foresail off uh, to have some repairs uh, done on that, but I can't or dare not to uh, unravel it, which you have to do to take it off the boat uh, while the boat's uh, on dry land. So uh, there's some things I can do in the water only. So I've got to make sure that everything needs to, that needs to be done while the boat is out of the water is done now. I don't want to go in the water and think, I should have done this or I should have done that. All right, time to crack on. Oh, and if you're wondering what that is, I've got more on the other hand. I've got mosquito bikes that have gone infected. Nasty sore, but I've got to ignore that and just get the work done. Come on, baby. Yeah. Just been cleaning off the hydrovane rudder, ready to put that on and new anti-fouling going on there. Actually, that was easier than I thought. Well, that's a heavy piece of kit. All I'm going to do now is put the uh, safety pin through that pin and tie the safety line and then anti foul. A couple of hours later, and another coat's on. Still got to do the propeller and the shaft anodes. Cleared some of the junk away from uh, under the boat so I can get to the keel on this side. Move some of the other stuff over to the other side of my garden. <laughs> Actually, let me show you this. This, uh, this is a paint store used by some of the guys on there, but they keep it locked so I can't steal anything out of that. Not that word. Um, some old wood, various bits and pieces. A lovely old tree. I love this tree. <laughs> but look at that. That is um, one of the highest, if not the highest tide of the year, I reckon. You can see how close we are. <laughs> the water is almost up to the keel of the boat. Well, I suppose I better get on. There's all this side of the boat to paint and then it'll be lunchtime. The yard's quite busy today. Everybody's trying to get things done before the storm comes. There's a boat over there with a rather nice lady underneath it, sanding away. Uh, it's kind of warm today, so she's sweaty and hot. And I'm gonna be a little bit sexist now. And I gotta say, um, <laughs> a hot girl with an orbital sander really does it for me, I gotta tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Just a part. When you think, when you paint in a boat, you're underneath the boat and it's hot and tiring. You think of these things. <laughs> the propeller's looking good. I'm pre cleaning it for. Uh, it to have some special treatment done on it. More about that in a minute. 
In the process of doing that, I've also got to get this off. It's got to be replaced. As you can see, it's worn out. It's a sacrificial anode uh, that deals with uh, excess electronic current that might be floating around about all technical stuff. Anyway, that's an old one. Going to be replaced by these two. The next thing to do is to clean it all up. Well, I've been cleaning this for the last don't know how many hours. Now that'll do now. I'll leave it up to my mate to do his magic. Time to put the uh, anodes on the shaft. Got that nice and clean. Been trying to do this scene for ages. I cannot say sacrificial anode very well. But I said it there. This is a sacrificial anode. It's one of eight that fit on the boat. Uh, they absorb extra electrical activity. Now if it's wandering around, it destroys this before it destroys the metal of the boat. That's the idea. That's hence the word sacrificial anode, which I can't say very well. It's all shiny and new. And number two. I've actually had trouble finding ones that fit. Uh, this is Imperial, not metric. For some reason, I don't know why. One at a time on either side. I think that's about it. All right, that's my job done down here. Uh, Andrew, my mate here, well, he's my mate now. I'll, you wait, don't have any mates. I'll wait till I get the bloody bill. <laughs> but he's going to do what they call it. It's prop speed, yeah? Yeah, prop speed, that's the one. Can you just tell us what, what that actually does? It uh, stops all the nasties from sticking to your props so you get better performance. Okay, well, that sounds good. It doesn't stop it growing, but they don't stay there when you turn it on. So. Okay, because one of the problems I've had is, is the prop fouls up a lot when yep. you're sitting around not doing anything. So Andrew's talked me into this. He's got, he tells me he's got like 10 kids he needs to feed, so <laughs> I saw that. Uh, well, there's always another one on the way. Yeah, I pay him a few shekels to do this. There's, there's a new, always a new ex-wife, and then... <laughs> <laughs> well, we better stop it there. Well, anyway, we'll see how he gets on in a minute too. <laughs> Look at that, I, I spent two days cleaning up propeller and he comes on and he puts yellow crap all over it. What's going on here, folks? It's called gold, mate, liquid gold. Liquid gold, all right. <laughs> Hence the price. What I'm doing is sorting out all the anchor chain that was on the boat. This is all now being replaced uh, with brand new. Because there was chain on the boat when I bought the boat and then I added some more after I lost my anchor in a river in England, that's another story, I put um, uh, joins. I had to join several lengths of uh, anchor chain together. Uh, there's one length of chain there and one length of chain there. What I did was join them with a shackle and then a bridging piece going across from one side to the other. So that, that's uh, double security. But the problem was, of course, that won't go through a winch. Um, and this chain's getting on a bit now, so I decided to change it all out. But these are good shackles. Already taken a few off, but I certainly don't want to throw those stainless steel shackles away. There's life in the shackles yet, but the chain's going to the scrap heap. Because it's anchor chain, the connections had to be super good. And what I've done here to make sure that the, the shackles don't come undone is use seizing wire, which goes through and prevents uh, the shackle coming undone. Way back a while now, uh, my friend Northern Rom, who'd actually been in a few of my early videos, helped me in England to put this chain in his truck when I bought it. I think I ended up with like 40 meters, which is what I've had. Now it's to be replaced by 75 meters of new chain. Somehow I've got to make room and get all this crap back on the boat again. I'm very conscientious about my exercise and keeping fit, so I thought I'd take a little walk. While I was doing that, I, I found an Irish pub, and in that pub they had some excellent beer. Job done. The sun is out and it's time to do some work. Uh, splashing tomorrow, boat's going in the water, which means I've got to get stuff done today that is uh, critical to the boat going in the water. Basically anything that needs to be done under the water line. And I've also got to move all this crap. First of all, going up there. I've never been a fan of heights, but uh, 
sometimes things just need to get done and you've got to do it you know of course the great thing about heights is the view is good yeah people are enjoying a nice sunday afternoon on the river here i am um fixing my boat again and doing stuff okay right what are we doing today there's bits of unfinished work like that and there's some rust peeking through i've got to try and do those while i can here it's easier to work on the outside top of the boat uh, while she's out of the water. Why are the fuel tanks on the end of ropes? Well, that's because they're coming back on board. Everything that was under the boat is now back on top. It's a mess, but I can't uh, have stuff down there now. The reason, of course, is that uh, we're getting lifted in the morning. I'm gonna lose my little garden, but what I won't miss is the heat in this corner of the yard. The flies, there's loads of flies down there today, and the bloody mosquitoes. I've got bites all over me, and there's been some ones that have gone septic on my hand. Hands and legs. Yeah, thank you, mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. Right, I'm gonna pull these buggers up now. Yeah. How to get 40 litres of fuel on the boat, 20 litres at a time. <sighs> That's the easy one. Don't miss the next episode. Shaddy goes back in the water and for the first time I get her weighed and find out just how heavy my boat actually is. Meanwhile, I'm going to leave you with this one. Guitarist from the band Pele and I, we were chatting away, the camera was on. Didn't know it was, and it's kind of funny. Uh, have a chuckle with it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheers now. You're very skilled. I am skilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to that off. Yep. And uh, a memento. I could sell that to charity. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. And after that, a cup of tea. Uh, I've already got coffee going. Coffee, on. okay. But you're from the UK. <laughs> you should drink tea. Camera's off now, you can talk Okay, back. okay. <laughs> okay? No, it's off. Bye no. for now. It's off. Yeah, it's off. Okay. I don't want you to get I don't want you to become a media whore like me.